Okay, so in this video, I am working for a client and they're promoting language learning, specifically English language learning, and they're targeting multiple markets. So what I've got in front of me was an example of the French market. So initially I had created a woman, a low angle full body shot taken during blue hour of a beautiful French woman looking contemplative yet serene, shallow depth of field, aspect ratio one to one style raw S50. So that's low stylized value. So I'm just gonna go through my settings quickly of what I used to achieve this. And then we're gonna do the same, but in Instead of for the French market, we're going to do it for the Korean market. So we're going to see across different nationalities, how does mid journey fare? So first and foremost, what my settings are as follows. So I've got raw mode on, got stylized low, and I've got remix mode on to allow for adaptive prompting going forward. And yeah, that's basically it for now, using version six, of course. So now let's try to create a character going through a journey. Okay, so when we want people to download this app in question, I can't reveal the app for confidentiality reasons, but let's say we want people to download this app they're going to go through a journey from not knowing about english to knowing about english and coming out in the other side of it having accomplished a new skill i'm very grateful that i can speak english you know i never ever take it lightly that i can speak english up to this degree so we want to be able to of course put that forward to people that view our ad eventually on meta or google so how do we go about doing this so first and foremost we go slash imagine and then we're doing it for the korean market this time so what i like to do is i like to use a framework of mine called frame so that means focus and shot resolution, ambience, mood and palette, and extras. So as part of focus and shot, we get what the actual subject in question is doing, as well as, you know, the shot, what does that look like? What camera is used, as well as what shallow depth of field is there. If there's a shallow depth of field, i.e. like a blurry background, or if everything is sharply in focus, i.e. a deep depth of field, okay? This is where I like to plan the prompt in advance. So what I like to do is start with the shot first and then focus on the subject. A medium close up shot of a Korean man looking dejected. So that's that portion, focus and shot. Now you do the resolution portion. So taken with a DSLR camera. So you can either specify the exact camera that you want mid journey to include along with the lens type and the f-stop and aperture, etc. Or you can just keep it vague and leave it open to interpretation. DSLR cameras are typically very good for taking images and mirrorless cameras are very good for video recording specifically. So those are the differences there. So yeah, just go with the DSLR camera as part of the resolution portion. Now in the ambience, we can describe where they're based. Okay. So on the streets of Seoul, Seoul or Seoul? Um, like that, basically the capital of South Korea. Uh, on the streets of Seoul, a side profile, yeah. So this is where we can go. A side profile, medium close-up shot of a Korean man looking dejected. Taken with a DSLR camera on the streets of Seoul. We don't need to include the dejected part there. That'll be mentioned within the mood and palette that we're going for. But yeah, a side profile, medium close-up shot of a Korean man taken with a DSLR camera on the streets of Seoul. The image has a dejected and gloomy feel to it. Taken during blue hour. Yeah, that's it. We don't need to include anything in the extras portion there. So I'm just going to leave it blank. Okay. So I'll just put a full stop to represent it being blank. So when you go through this frame framework, it helps with the planning, right? And then once you know how to plan accordingly, you can just put it all into the mixer, if you will. Serge Gnabry celebration. I don't know for those of you who follow football, but yeah, Serge Gnabry <laughs> or Nabry. Yeah, you put all of this into the mixer and that forms the basis of your prompt in its entirety. Okay. So copy in this. And then what I'll do is I'll do AR one to one because that's typically the best aspect ratio for advertising anyway. Then we're just going to, of course, keep all the settings the same as you're seeing and see what this yields. Now, if we want five different variations of that, a really helpful thing I recently discovered last month was to use dash dash R five. Now, five different variations would come back of this particular prompt. And it will say, do you want to do this? And we say, yes, I think. It's done a really good job here. It's got the shallow depth of field. It's got the gloomy vibes. It's got like someone who's like feeling a bit lost. And that's what I want to evoke from these images. Images, if done really well, convey a story without any words having to be present. And I think that's what I aim to do with these images is do exactly that, you know, convey some kind of story unfolding before our very eyes. So I think I like that one because that guy looks fairly young and it seems as though he's got a lot of potential. So does that guy as well. It looks in like a busy like street. So I think I wouldn't go with that one. That's, that's a nice side profile shot really well done and yeah we're going to go with that one and let's actually make this person a character now a consistent character so you just select that one so u4 upscale this one we open in browser we right click we go copy image address go back into mid journey go imagine and now what we want to do here we want to now imagine this person having moved on from this situation of feeling dejected feeling like i guess sad or disempowered to feeling empowered feeling 
like, you know, they've got life back in them again, like this hope for the future. So what scenario would help us paint a picture of that happening? Let's say a man standing in the middle of London with the Big Ben behind them, an ultra wide, low angle shot of a man. And we don't need to specify a Korean man because that's what we're referencing. So an ultra wide, low angle shot of a man standing in the middle of central London with the Big Ben behind them. They are joyous and are smiling, taken during golden hour. So here is where it comes into the picture, consistent characters. So how we use it is you go dash dash C ref. So we copied the image address earlier on. So now you just paste it, control V, and then you just space it and you go C CW0, okay? Reason why we want CW0 is because we want them to be wearing the same coat, right? So it's like, we want to emphasize, not necessarily that they've changed the outfit, but their mindset has changed as a result of them using the app and learning English. And yeah, we'll see what happens. So let's create five variations of this as well and see what happens. Oh, wow, that's amazing. God damn. So now it's just the case of picking the best image, you know? And the reason why, you know, I went with blue hour as well is because usually blue is associated. Blue, greys, dark blues, basically. They're associated with doom and gloom. And then when you contrast that with golden hour, you know, you get the vibe psychologically of like summer feel and things just being bright, right? And looking rosy. So that's why I went with that particular color. And it's also falls in line with the particular brand's color palette in question. You know, part of their brand color palette is ambers and then some parts of it are blue as well so that is important there to of course pay attention to when you're advertising so out of all of these images i think personally that i'm liking this second one here looks really nice and that one as well looks good so i'm going to go with that that first one there oh that's kind of a like a, a fisheye type of lens which is really cool that's nice as well. Oh, that's a really good one. I like that a lot. Yeah, that looks amazing. And now it's not exactly captured what he was wearing in the initial image. I wanted to do that, but that looks amazing. I'm still going to go with that one, actually. I prefer that one over this one. Do let me know in the comments which one you would prefer. Yeah, that one's good. I'm not sure in terms of likeness of the original character, how close he is in resemblance to him. That one there. So he looks like doom and gloom. So he's gone from that state to a state of this, which is really good that's what we want people to feel you know when they see and they start interacting with the app that's what we want them to feel so now let's head over to canva and change out the image okay so this is something i had like of a french lady so we're going to change it to this guy what you do is you just copy the image and you can just upload it instantly and what i like to do is i like to sharpen up the image in canva now this isn't exactly a canva tutorial it's more of a mid journey tutorial but you know i hope that you can get introduced to my workload and know how i work with mid journey for my particular client and uh, this should show you, you know, how everything's done. So edit photo, adjust. So what I like to do is I like to play with the temperature a little bit. So it looks a bit more natural. Yeah. So this looks good. Could even make it a bit warmer slightly. So that's good there. Let's turn up the brightness. It's much better. Contrast. I think that looks a bit better with that contrast there. A bit on the minus side. Highlights. Now I'm not an expert here, right? I'm just trying to do what I can see in front of me just to make the image a little bit more popping, so to speak. I'll see what happens after that. Vibrance. And then this is where I do some sharpness there. But if you do too much, you have to be careful to not overdo the sharpness here because then it can look like a fake image so you have to be super delicately balanced in your approach to using these dials okay so i usually do 10 and 15 in terms of the you know sharpness metrics so to here for the texture metrics i like to go you know 5 or 10 or 10 and 15 and that is our image and now what i do is just download it upload it to facebook ads and yeah do do my thing if you do want to see something going forward on the channel feel free to comment down below on this video but likewise till next time I've been Vey and peace.